Hello, and welcome back to SciTitech. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this crazy dancing flower with using a vibrating DC motor. Let's get started. And these are the items you're gonna to need to make for this project. The items you're gonna need, this cardboard box, which will be used as the housing, this cardboard flower and petals, a 9 volt battery clip, a 9 volt battery, a slide switch, a vibrating DC motor, and this metal spring, which will be used as a stem for this flower. Now, let's go ahead and assemble this project and let's get started. First, I'm going to take some hot glue and put it onto the 9 volt battery. Next, take the vibrating DC motor and attach it to the 9 volt battery. And there we go, glued into place. Next, place a small amount of hot glue onto the 9 volt battery. Take the slide switch and glue it into place. Next, I'm going to take this red wire, which represents positive, and attach it to the center pin of the slide switch. And there we go, soldered into place. And I'll take the other end of that wire and solder it to the positive terminal of the vibrating DC motor. And I'll take the 9 volt battery clip and attach it to the 9 volt battery. Next, take the positive wire from the 9 volt battery clip and attach it to the slide switch. Solder it into place. And there, it shall look just like this. Next, take the negative wire from the 9 volt battery clip and connect it to the negative terminal of the vibrating DC motor. And there we go, solder it into place. And there, the circuit is now complete. Make a quick test to see if it works. And there, as you can see, it works. Next, I'm going to take this cardboard housing and take the circuit and place it in the center of the housing. Take a generous amount of hot glue and place it in the center of the housing. And now, glue the circuit into place. Hold it in place and wait for it to solidify. And there, this part of the project is now complete. Flip over the housing. Take this spring, and I want to place it right here in the center. Take some hot glue and put it in the center of the housing. And now, glue down the spring. And there, the spring is now glued into place. Next, take some hot glue and glue down the base leaves. Next, take a small amount of hot glue and put it onto this leaf and glue it to the spring, which is the stem of the flower. And there we go, glued into place. And I'll repeat the same process with the rest of the leaves. Next, take a generous amount of hot glue and put it onto the flower. And then we go, put it on the top of the spring or the top of the stem. And there you have it, the project is now complete. Let's go ahead and test it out. Turn on the switch, and as you can see, it vibrates. This is part of what I wanted to do. I wanted the flower to dance around like crazy, and I wanted it to move around, but I think I wanted it to stay in one place and have the flower dance around like crazy. I think that will look better. And as you can see, when I hold it down and the flower doesn't move around, the flower will dance around like crazy. So, what I need to do is modify it. Next, I'm going to take this piece of cardboard, and as you can see with this piece of cardboard, I have the square hole inside. Doing this will allow me to reach inside of the housing to turn the switch on and off. Next, I'm going to take some hot glue and glue everything into place. And there, it is now glued into place. And there you have it, the project is now complete. Now, let's go ahead and turn it on and see if it works. And as you can see, it works a lot better. 
It moves around a lot less, and the flower dances around like crazy. And as you can see, it's just an option. If I wanted the flower to dance around like crazy and move around like crazy, this will be the choice to make. Otherwise, a second option, in my opinion, may be better, is to take these two big heavy rocks and put it on both sides. Doing this will make it look more decorative and hold the flower into place. So now let's go ahead, turn on the circuit, and test it out. And as you can see, this looks very nice. The flower stays in place and the flower dances around like crazy. And there you have it. Now you know how to make your very own crazy dancing flower with using a few simple parts, such as a vibrating DC motor and some cardboard. Thank you for watching SciTech. Tech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, click on the bell icon to be notified of future SciTech Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.